Right, guys, as you know, we are here in Abu Dhabi for the IFA Awards. Usually, we as viewers, we see the glitz and glamour, we see nominees, we see the green carpet, we see stars. But who is the man behind all of that? I'm standing next right to him. Andre, hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Very hi. excited to be here. Yeah, I think I'm excited to see you all here. <laughs> so, Andre, it's been 23 years of IFA. As you started back in 2000, we have 2023 here. Tell me something about the journey. How did it all start? Well, actually, uh, in the year 2000, uh, we thought that we should build a, a brand, you know, like a global brand. And as you know, in India, we have two religions. We have cricket and we have Bollywood, right? And at that time, we thought we would, you know, kind of go down the road with um, Indian cinema was because it's all about storytelling. And at that time, the vision was to bring uh, our cinema, bring our stars closer uh, to the second and third generation globally, right? And also we wanted to kind of make it more popular globally. Uh, we wanted, you know, more box office tickets, co-production, shootings. Um, so that was the vision. And then also it was all about a celebration party, right? You know, of course, things have changed now in terms of, you know, the younger generation, what we're doing right now. It's, it's more structured from that perspective. And we are in Abu Dhabi here. We hear the for a second time here with the IFAs, what inspired you to choose Abu Dhabi once again? Because as I recall it, usually the IFA Awards are like in different countries every single year, aren't they? Yeah, uh, you're right. We, we don't um, repeat the country. Yeah. In the, but because the leadership was so excited, we've been talking to Abu Dhabi for almost seven, eight years. And actually when we did it last year, I think probably they didn't, you know, in some way understand what exactly we were going to do. And I think our production, uh, the ability to bring so many stars under one roof. Uh, we had close to 2 billion impressions. Uh, we had close to about 40, 50 stars. Uh, so this is like, you know, like any big event that happens in the world. Yeah. And they requested us that, you know, why don't you stay back, you know? Uh, so first initially we said, you know, we'll have to think about it. But because the leadership was so friendly and they're doing a lot for the Indian film industry beside yeah. bringing IFA, shootings, co-productions. Uh, uh, so in that way, and we, you know, we are home, far away from home, right? It's a two-hour flight, right? And then we decided to kind of come back. Uh, as of three days ago, they've asked us, listen, you have to stay back. I said, I said, sure, we can come back every alternate year or every two years. Yeah. But it's all about the love and affection. Yeah. You know what I mean? See, it's, I think any uh, uh, partnership is about uh, uh, collaborating. And I think Abu Dhabi, all the departments, Abu Dhabi Tourism, Miral, they've actually been very active, right? In promoting it, making this event the largest event for all the events. Oh, wow. And that's the love and respect. If you get that love and respect, you know, we as Indians give it back, right? Yeah. Tenfolds. Yeah. And that's what my stars are doing. For, for, for any star to come down to any destination, giving three days of their life, whether it's weekend stories, whether it's rehearsals, whether it's press conferences, master classes, parties, you know, meet and greet, uh, you know, they do everything. And that's, that's the love and affection we get from the industry that we actually follow through. Yeah, amazing. So does that mean that we could maybe expect Abu Dhabi being the host for the IFA was a third time as well? Well, um, I would love to, uh, but I, you know, I, I told the leadership they're going to open some more, <laughs> you know, uh, great places here. They just opened the Sea World, which is beautiful. Yeah, we heard, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. You guys should go and see it. Yeah. And uh, of course, we may come back after a year or two, but what we're doing for them is that we're launching IFA Utsavam, which is about the South Film Awards, okay. which we do it in India. So from 24, uh, we're going to keep it in Abu Dhabi five years. Amazing. Okay. So Andre, as you mentioned, it's IFA 2023. There must be like one iconic moment. Is there like one favorite IFA watcher that you had or one favorite moment that you had that you still remember? Well, I think uh, my favorite moment was uh, in Tampa, right? When I when we got John Travolta to dance with Priyanka Chopra. Iconic. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was. You know, it was fabulous. And we got Kevin Spacey that time doing the lungi dance. Wow. You know, you I think- You can't see it every day, do you? Yeah, yeah you can't. It's not possible to do it every day. So that was one of my iconic moments. Okay. And can you also provide us, like obviously we as the viewers, we see the show, you know, we sit at home, relax, we see the show, but there must be like so much work that goes behind the scenes as well. So much work that goes into the production and the preparations. How does that look? It's probably yeah. madness, isn't it? Yeah, like, like you know, we're excited because we sold both our shows, 25,000 people. Uh, the entire inventory of hotels are sold out and we are close to 1,050 people. 
250 production people coming in from India and we've got almost close to about 1500 people who are actually working behind the scenes. Yeah. So it's all about creativity, production, props, you know, LEDs, hospitality, looking. We've flown in about 1000 people. Yeah. Uh, we're using four hotels. It's about giving our stars and our uh, industry a great experience. Yeah. You know, if you, you have to make sure that everything goes well, right? So that logistics takes us about seven, eight months. Seven, eight months, months wow. to make sure and we have about close to eight to ten people in the destination yeah. working with all the stakeholders of Abu Dhabi you know as to how we're going to build it what we're going to do so we've activated restaurants malls we've activated a lot of stuff around the region uh, to make sure that this becomes one of their marquee events and of course Abu Dhabi loves Zaifa. Amazing yeah that's obviously what you want to hear as well so now Obviously, we had the press conference yesterday. We have IFA Rocks today, and then tomorrow the main events. Are there any highlights or like special surprises that the people can expect? Well, I think uh, for today, I think first of all, Farah and Rajkumar are great host, yeah. right? They're going great to bring, duo. yeah, they are great. They're going to bring the house down. Yeah. Uh, and Farah, she's, uh, you know, she did our first show in '88. At that time, we had paid her 500 rupees, right, when she did the show, and she was the first one to choreograph IFA London. Oh, she yeah. the first, so the first one in 2000. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. she choreographed it, and it's really been great fun. Uh, and uh, well, I'm looking forward to Bacha's Amit, Amit Trivedi, Sunidhi Chavan, Bacha's dancing will come up with three actresses. There's a lot of collaboration in these acts. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to IFA Rocks. Yeah, amazing. So are we. And what message do you think should IFA or does IFA give to all the viewers and the attendees? Or what do you think? What is IFA like? What is the main message that IFA gives out to the world? Well, I think IFA is all about building bridges, bringing the world closer through cinema, culture, arts, right? And we want to make sure that we bring a smile on people's face. Mm -hmm. We, we our motto is to make sure we celebrate cinema yeah. and all our fans come to support us. We've got people who are coming from New York, London, Australia, New Zealand. And some of the folks I met here have been coming for the last 20 years, year on year, wherever IFA goes. Yeah. And, and that's the love. Yeah. that we get from people. Yeah, yeah. And then Andre, we saw an old picture of you. It's quite some time back with mustaches and everything. We'll try and find an inset in somewhere here, but you'll have to tell us about like that story, like that time. What was it? Was that the time where iPhone was actually like in the beginning of the preparations? No, I think at that time when we were talking, it was when uh, we bought Apache Indian to, to India. Okay. At that time, you know, Apache was huge with arranged marriage and everything. And uh, we brought him to India. We did actually five cities with him. Yeah, oh, and, wow. and that was great fun. That was, I think, way back in, I think, 90, mm -hmm. 1991. Okay, yeah. And it was a super hit. Uh, and we have some great memories of, uh, you know, so-called Punjabi music, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, and of course, the legacy, you know, still continues. Yeah. Punjabi music is, is large, it's big. Totally. Speaking of Punjabi music, do you have a current favorite Punjabi song on your playlist at the moment? <laughs> not really at the moment. Not at the moment. Yeah, not okay. really. And then lastly, if there was an Andre Award at the IFA Awards, which Bollywood actor would you give that award to? Well, that's a, that's a difficult question, right? Because I have to say, I've been 35 years in this business. And let me tell you one thing. This business only works on relationship and love, yeah. right? And that's what uh, A, I give to all my stars and in, you know they give it back to me tenfold. That's why you see them here being a part of it, supporting us because you need the support of the industry, yeah. right? Without that, you can't do it. Money is not everything. It's all about that relationship, respect you give them. So for me, I, I would like to give everybody that award. That is really nice. And on that note, it's really nice to end this conversation. Andre, it was great talking to you. We cannot wait to see the show tonight, the IFA Rocks, and then obviously the award show tomorrow. Thank you so much, Andre. Thank you so much for getting me on the show. Thank you. Good luck.